Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Verse 101, class is in session. Pay attention to the teachings that's from Andrew and Derek. I mean, these guys making the killer with no competition. Dynamic duo better than the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys. Everybody make some noise. Mess with them, you get destroyed. They cannot be beat. Take a seat. Watch them do their thing on the MIC. Face the feet. They cannot be seen like JC. Oh my goodness, it's in killing spree. Yeah? Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. When I'm not hosting our podcast, I'm usually at collarandelbowbrand.com. That's right, Collar and Elbow is the only place that combines wrestling with street attire. And I know what you're thinking, I want to look fashionable too, and I also want to save 10%. So head over to collarandelbowbrand.com and use the promo code WIQ101 and look fashionable and save some money. And now, on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Wrestling IQ 101. I'm Andrew, and you can listen to Wrestling IQ 101 right here on YouTube. You can follow us on social media at Wrestling IQ 101. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today, I'm joined by the unbreakable Rob Fury and Chad Minnis. How's it going, guys? Guys? Rob? It's going absolutely phenomenal. Oh, wow. I was waiting for Chad to... <laughs> well, this one off, but it's safe. All right. Yeah, dead, dead air, man. Yeah, I'm doing wonderful, Andrew. Thank you so much for having me on again and Rob oh. again. And oh, of course, know, this, guys. This is the reunion, man. Yeah. You know, the, the last time we were here, I mean, you guys had such big plans that were going to, you know, you guys were going to attempt to put into fruition. You guys even got a great start on it. Um, it's amazing to see you guys back together and, and really putting this together. things happen and uh here we are you know uh this time uh fast forward a little bit and like you said plans are uh you know plans that we had you know we're starting to try and uh re-kick off like mm-hmm. uh you know this shockwave event for the first time ever we're gonna do three shows one day three different brands uh brands that you know pro wrestling after dark me and rob were involved in swf standalone you know now they're all coming together uh working with ltw a little bit Mm-hmm. Uh, going to start working with the IWA a little bit more, uh, and uh, you never know what else is going to happen uh, upcoming uh, with other promotions as well. Yeah, you know that was one of the most exciting things about this because <clears throat> when you open up the field, anybody can come, anybody can wrestle here, and it's uh, it's really phenomenal. Yeah, it really excites me on a on that standpoint because you know there's so many possibilities for matches and promotional matches when you really look at this kind of stuff. So. That really just gets my gears going. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's kind of, and it's kind of cool because there's going to be so many surprises. I know violence is going to show up. Uh, you know, he's always uh, he's going to be on chain, right? He's going to raise hell. He's a very intense. But as I tag you, Megas, a very intense individual. Yeah. Really is intense. Yeah, he really is. He's a pretty demonic with you know with the tattoos and the mask. I mean, he's a scary dude. I wouldn't. I, I I'm happy you teamed up with him, and not wrestled him <laughs> this oh, time yeah, around. Yeah, that, I agree. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, man. <laughs> but of course, you know we wouldn't be remiss if if uh, we told people at the beginning of the show how they can get tickets to Shockwave uh, uh, and where it's located. Chad, you want to take that one? You want me to do it? No, I'm good. Yeah, so you can go to swflive.org, and all the ticket information is there. Or you go directly to any of our Eventbrite links as well. And uh, you could just look up SWF, uh, Pro Wrestling After Dark, or Standalone Wrestling. And they will be on there. The address to the venue is 323 New York Ave in Lindhurst, New Jersey. It's the AMVET Post 20. And direct access from the train as well. So if you're coming from New York, you can come right into Lindhurst. And, you know, the train is right there. The venue is super close. Yeah, now you don't have an excuse. You have to be there. You have to get no there. Excuses, yeah. <laughs> you can take an Uber. Uh, yeah. He's right on that because I was at the venue today, and the train station is legitimately across the street from the venue. 
Mm. So you know, we're gonna have some people flying that as well. But, but truthfully, I mean, it's right across the street. You get off the train, walk on the stairs, you're at right the venue. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, of course, you know some familiar faces that are gonna be there. Of course, uh, Rep Titus, um, Matt McIntosh, Casey Navarro, Dan Moff, uh, the Sandman, Tommy Dreamer. I mean, uh, King Jeter, the champion, and uh, it's going to be a plethora of so many people. Uh, how are you going to fit this all into to three different shows in one day? <laughs> well, Chad will let me book six matches. So. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let you? <laughs> you start on it, so, you know, that's... <laughs> yeah, dude, so we have, we have three shows, so yeah. we had to divide it up, all right? So we're going to book Pro Wrestling Art and Dark, we're going to book SWF, we're going to book Standalone. Mm-hmm. So like, listen, Rob, the max we can do is six matches. <laughs> And then I see Rob's poster come out. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? There's people everywhere. Yeah. Like, Rob, how are you, you going to have six matches? How is this happening? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I'm still looking at this poster. There's Vinny Chenzo. There's the Foundation. Uh, Casey Cattell. Vita Von Star. I mean, Craig Steele. I mean, you and uh, and uh, Cerebus. I mean, the, the place might not even hold all this. Pe- all these people. <laughs> like the ring, we're even. Not, we're not fucking around with this stuff here, man. We... When we said diversified roster, anyone would be here, man. Well, uh-huh. there's a few exceptions. Mm-hmm. Anyone can <laughs> be here. This is this is the main. This is it, man. This is where you want to be. I, I mean, I'm looking at the poster right now. There's a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, and there's more people on the show. But we're we're definitely, uh, you know, I think we're really gearing to something special. I think this is going to be really. I really have a lot of faith in it. It'll be great. Yeah. Yeah. I, why don't we uh, Why don't we run down the card? I have the card in front of me. We could all, you know, put in our thoughts if you want. Yeah. Sure. Right. Let's do that. All right. So we're going to open up the show with Standalone Wrestling presents mm-hmm. Shockwave at one thirty p.m. The Foundation of Wrestling, Lance and Kurt Bale versus the main event who we just saw in AEW, which is Midas Black and Jay Lyon. Yeah, the main event. It's pretty impressive, <laughs> right, Rob? Yes. Yeah, I mean that 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 match alone. I mean it's it, it's a show stealer. Yeah, you can put that on a main event on any show on the East Coast, and it would work. And that's what I love about what we're doing. Yeah, absolutely, and it, it is going to be a phenomenal tag team match. You you definitely don't want to miss it there in Lindhurst. Uh, what yeah, else we have, cool. Chad? Yeah, it's cool seeing the you know the guys on AEW and then the you know the foundation who's you know improving themselves. You know, not only in the ring but outside of the ring. So, yeah, definitely that's going to be interesting. Uh, for the Saw Cruiserweight title, we have a suicidal six-way. The champion Anthony Bennett versus Kit Osborne versus Hyena Hex versus Matt Vertigo versus Mantis versus Vinny Tolota. Wow. Jesus. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be something something spectacular. Yeah. Um, suicidal. Suicidal six ways. I don't even remember this from PWS. You know, when I started going back to shows with uh, Carter, mm-hmm. uh, the, the you know the suicidal six ways were something that just captivated me every time I went to the shows. I'm like, man, you know, this is like a car crash. It's crazy. I love it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, since they're gone, I'm like, you know what? Let me just recapture some of that. And uh, that's when I said, you know, with, with the cruiserweight title, we should do more of that uh, in, on standalone. Yeah, and you know, it's funny you said that because you said it captured your imagination. Imagine the kids, right? They must have been thrilled seeing something like that. Absolutely, yeah. So that's going to be super amazing with those with those guys in it. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Next match is a women's three-way dance. The Notorious Mimi versus mm-hmm. Nevaeh Chantel versus Gabby Ortiz. Oh. And, uh, you know, Gabby Ortiz was added on because a promoter did uh, some bad faith business. And uh, I brought her on board. You know, I said, you know what, we'll, uh, the trifecta will make the booking whole for you. Uh, here's your pay, and uh, here's a booking. What a and, surprise. And uh, that's how we got that match. That's great. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. <laughs> ah, yeah. I mean... I mean that's something spectacular. I mean, I mean Mimi and Chantel, and now you add Gabby Gortiz. I mean, these are some of the three women in, that are the best right now in, the, in this area. Yeah. But uh, Chad, before we go any further, I want to ask you something. Now you talked about the the foundation earlier. Before uh, they got in the face of Sean Donovan, and he had some choice words for him. Um, uh, did you like what he had to say? Uh, do you think they have to to grow up a little bit, or stay cocky? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be wild, you know. Sean Donovan is, uh, you know, he's he's legendary. 
he's a vet, and a lot of these, you know, the, the younger guys, and they're trying to make a name for themselves, mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I, you know, I think it's going to be kind of rough for them to really compete with Sean, but again, Sean is only one guy, you know, and they're, yeah. they're a group. Sure. Sure, and I know I know you can't wait to see that one, Rob. Too. I mean, that's going to take place in a, just a couple, just a couple of months well, now. <laughs> I, I, I know Sean like you know twenty got to got to be twenty five years, and and if anything, the best stuff he's done in his career is the last three to four years. I feel, mm -hmm. and he's gotten better with age. So and I, I, I love what he's doing, and I love, it's not really a gimmick. That's really him. He protects the business, and and this is to me, it's. Uh, when you're at the top of your game, you're always going to stumble with nipping on your feet, and this is uh, this is a, this is a clinic course, man. It's waiting to happen. Yeah, you know, like you said, you know, Sean Sean has improved, keeps improving with his age. You know, yeah. from his gear to his mic work to his in ring work, you know, it just gets better and better and better. Yeah, very believable. <laughs> I mean, I was at a show. I think you were there too, Rob. I mean, uh, Chad, that the fans wanted to like jump the parricade to to get to him. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> you got to have that insurance. <laughs> Oh yeah. man! Well, at least you know we were able to calm that situation down because yeah. I don't want to mess with Sean Donovan. But as we continue up the card, Chad, what do we have next? Oh, here's a huge one: Brandon Kirk. Who uh, you know, I'm super into Brandon Kirk. Yeah, you've seen him work Masada. You've seen him wrestle Takeda from Japan. And uh, next for him on uh, standalone wrestling is Brandon Kirk versus Tommy Dreamer. Wow! wow. I mean, <laughs> I mean. Right, it wasn't that long ago where he was beating up like Nunzio and Shane Douglas and putting him in back of an ambulance, right? So, oh yeah. So, can imagine his crusade to take out these ECW legends, but <laughs> it's, he's going to have his hands full with the uh, innovative extreme. Definitely, that, 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 definitely will. Now, so, uh, next match is the uh, three-way dance pro wrestling after dark <laughs> champion John Wayne Murdoch. Mm -hmm. Who is also the IWTV Pro Wrestler of the Year? The Trifecta Champion Cerebus versus Astro Morales three way dance. Oh man, oh, man. you know that's going to be absolutely amazing. Did you see uh, uh, Steve Lugo? He had some choice words on social media for uh, for his opponents uh, coming up at LTW. But you think he'll be in the corner? Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, Lugo is uh, is here on uh, the Shockwave card, so. Uh -huh. It's very know. possible. I mean, you have three, you have your trifecta brands, kind of, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Anything can intertwine. And the last, lead over. the last match on standalone wrestling, which is one that you brought up a little bit, Andrew, mm -hmm. Sean Donovan, the standalone wrestling heavyweight champion, versus Jay Curcio. Yeah, that's going to be a huge time match for Jay Curcio. I mean, you mean, you know, Sean Donovan sets the bar. And he's gonna have a hard time, I think. But he he might he might be able to do it with some backup like that. Yeah. So and then right after standalone wrestling, we're gonna switch to SWF presents Shockwave at three p.m. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the first matches: SWF Championship King Jeter versus Gene Snitsky versus Vince Steele. Wow. Huge. A lot of big men in that match, man. I'm a, I'm an old school guy, man. So when I look at that match, I really believe. Uh, to me, you know, Steele's been trying to grab the championship since October. He's 50 is a legend. King Jeter is probably one of the best big men in the business. He's a reigning defending champion. But to me, the X factor is this TJ Marconi getting the head of King Jeter. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be. And, you know, it's, I, I feel kind of bad for King Jeter here uh, and Vince Steele because they both were just in a triple threat match uh, at Mega Slam. That's, I mean, we're just yeah. weeks after that. We're not wasting no time. <laughs> And speaking of T.J. Marconi, he he will be in the house making a special appearance. You don't know what his role is going to be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the boot party's back. I mean, he seems to be uh, in a good mood, a giving mood. It's not not the same T.J. we saw last time around, right? Yeah, this is a very uh, jovial. Uh, was that the word? Jovial, good time. Yeah, but, you know, ready to kick someone's face down their throat, and he's having a good time. <laughs> this is going to be a very yeah. interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Next, next Next match we have, and this is going to be an amazing, amazing match. When you talk about, you know, worth the ticket of mission alone, you have Ring of Honors, Rhett Titus versus Kyle the Beast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm excited for that one. Is, one. Uh, that one's close to my heart because for me, and, and, and you know, a lot of people, some people may remember this, may not, 
But when myself and Chad Dennis sold out Jacksonville, New Jersey in Mega Slam 2017, mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the singles matches on the show. And I just uh, I wanted to do it again because I love those guys. And they're honestly, they're, I think they're better now than they were then. And, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Well, yeah. Fans just seeing some super psyched. And you know we we talked about uh, uh, Sean Donovan getting better with age. I mean the big dog on ROH, he's he's winning gold, and he's been around for sixteen years. Winning gold, reinventing himself. You see him come out with his new wild mask and his yeah. new faction, and you know I think they call it the foundation of wrestling. But I think I own the copyright, so me and Ring of Honor are going to have to have a talk. Oh know? wow! I, I wouldn't want to challenge you, Chad. I mean you you, you could be kind of a kind of cutthroat, right? So, but next match is three way dance. It sounds like somebody's getting delivery and interrupting our uh, video. <laughs> what? What's going on here? <laughs> next match is a three way dance. KC Navarro versus Manta Kila versus Matt McIntosh. Yeah. That's going to be dynamite. Yeah, Matt Tequila, right? I mean, he, he held his own at Mega Slam against two of the yeah. biggest guys in the world. That should be on TV all the time, you know. Casey Navarro, we've seen him on AEW a couple times. Uh, the other, the other two, that they should be there. Yeah, absolutely. I and believe it... they will. Be. <laughs> yeah, and, and Magnetize is another guy. I mean, for God's sake, they won his first matches with him, and, and they just saw him beg his time. He looked great. He could still go. Look, he's just a phenomenal talent. I mean, it's just it's a phenomenal, phenomenal mix. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous of him. The eight, the years have been pretty good to him. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> especially at, at at other wrestling places because he's won championships there and, and uh, he's collected pretty much a good resume for himself. Yeah, and remember, as we read down this card, the mm -hmm. best value in town is the three show passes. You can get all three shows day all day, standalone wrestling, SWF Pro Wrestling After Dark. As we go into the next match. ECW rules with the special enforcer, the Sandman, Riot City, and the franchise Shane Douglas versus the program, the Gunners, and NXZN. Yeah, yeah. The program has been pretty, uh, pretty exciting, right, Rob? They're very intense. They're, they're a very intense group. I mean, they feel they rebuilt the this version of SWF. They're, they're just, they just have an attitude on their shoulder. Mm. You know, they're they're. Gunners are the Ray Tag Team Champions. NXVN is, is, is a, a real good street fighter. This is going to be cool. I mean, the franchise Shane Douglas coming in, the team of Riot City, and the, uh, the X Factor there is, of course, the stand man lurking around. Never know who's getting changed. But it's going to be, uh, I think, it's going to get DCW rules, so you know what you can expect. Yeah. Yeah. I've, and those things get pretty violent. We've seen multiple of those uh, over the years, right, gentlemen? Obviously, Rob copied off of my suicidal six way. Yeah, it was a shockwave scramble. <laughs> oh, yes. Very original. <laughs> well, Vander, you know. Vander James versus the Marquis J. Evans versus Nolo Catano versus the body Steve Lugo versus the SWF cruiserweight champion Brian Burgundy. Yes, sir. We, I, <laughs> the name is great. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Brian Burgundy. But he's really big, so. <laughs> <It's> very big. <laughs> Should you, you even put him in this yeah, match? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you saw Jay Evans at uh, Mega Slam. Super yeah. impressive. You know, he took a little hiatus for a little while. Came back again. Another guy who reinvented himself. Super young. Super hungry. And uh, you know, I think Jay Evans is going to be uh, a huge future of SWF. Yeah, yeah that guy is great. I mean, he, he started here as a snow cop. Uh, coming up the sheet. I'm going to GTS wrestling, that's a true story, but reinvented himself multiple times now. He seems like he's in phenomenal <laughs> condition. It really made an impact on Mega Slam, so I agree with Chad 100% on that. Yeah. yeah. That's the last way, Chocolate Scramble match. Chocolate Scramble. Absolutely. Match, uh, which is the last one on the SWF card. It's Violence versus the Big Deal, Craig Steele. That's right. Yeah, big deal, Craig Steele. I mean, uh, I mean, he is no stranger to winning tag team championships at uh, other places. Uh, it, that's going to be one hell of a, a fight there. Uh, you know, what do you guys think about that? Yeah, I think uh, you know, if he, Craig Steele's in the best shape of his life now. If you look, look at him, he's uh, 
he just sent me some pictures. He's been working out and cutting his weight and stuff like that. I think he's, you know, in top phenomenal shape. But again, violence is that wild card. You know, you never know what he's going to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he comes out with the chains. I mean, we talked to him earlier about about him earlier in the show. But yeah, I mean, who knows? Uh, uh, you know, it's crazy that matchup. It's going to be surreal. Yeah, and even even if the fans like Craig Steele, violence is the fan favorite wherever he goes now. For some reason, <laughs> yeah, yeah, people love him. Next, we're going to turn into the Shockwave card, uh, the pro wrestling after dark portion. Mm-hmm. 4.30 p.m., women's match, Brittany Blake versus Vita Von Starr. Brittany Blake, this is her, her return to professional wrestling. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a big night for her. Um, I bet you she's super excited. <laughs> yeah, and I don't, I don't know if you saw the Vita Von Starr, uh, Casey Cattell match. Yeah. That was yeah. phenomenal, and I think we're going to follow up with the same here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait because that's going to blow the... You know, if that had a roof, it'd blow it off the roof. <laughs> blow it off. Next match is the Battle of the Clowns. Bill Floyd Dacano <laughs> versus Jimmy the Jester. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy the Jester is pretty, uh, he's pretty cerebral. I mean, uh, he's pretty, he's pretty crazy. He's not just you a know, normal I, clown. I, I've seen his work. I actually, I actually have seen his work. And I, <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I I wouldn't even say Joker esque. I would say he's even like sicker. I I don't know how else you would describe that man, but he's something else. Yeah. Next and, match is gonna be really exciting. The, the tattoo torture expert Blackstrom versus Matt McIntosh. He's pulling double duty. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's definitely worth the money right there if you get right <laughs> McIntosh <there>. twice. <laughs> right there, Blackstrom is not just a great talent. All around to do anything. He might be leaving uh, some Macintosh with some extra tattoos. That's oh, for yeah. sure. Here's another exciting match: an intergender match, battle of AEW TV stars, mm-hmm. Casey Navarro versus Miranda Ali. Wow! <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that one. Wow! Me too. I'm gonna be honest, but I'm really looking forward to that one a lot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Casey, I mean, he's blessed. I mean, he always steals the show. He finds a way to do it every time. Uh, and even Sean Donovan would go back to him. I mean, he had he had some some phenomenal words for him for sure. Yeah, uh, Mega Slam. Nice he's to hear. One, and it was kind of crazy. Casey could tell who did oh, a yeah. call out of Dan. So it's gonna be another intergender match. Casey could tell versus Danny Moss. Wow. You know? That that one to me is uh, I don't know if Casey Cattell just likes pain, mm-hmm. and and Dan Moss is a you know I, I have a thank God I have a great relationship with him. <laughs> man, when you're standing across the ring from Dan Moss, it's not a you know no matter how long you're around, it's a scary thing. So Casey Cattell, man, huge, just tremendous to go out and, and call that that bit, that son of a bitch out because. I, th- I think it's going to be a fight. It's something, again, I'm really, really looking forward to. It's probably one of the things on the whole entire afternoon of wrestling and evening of wrestling that I can't wait to see. Yeah, and, you know, she's been in Tournament of Death, Casey Cattell. I mean, uh, I mean, look at Penelope Ford, right? I mean, she was in the ring with the Hit Squad. Uh, and look how well she's been doing. She's been killing it on AEW. I mean, uh, yeah. women have uh, fared pretty well against Dan Moff, uh, but I don't know. Dan Moff... Uh, I mean, if you've seen him as late, they throw him in a pit cage, in a fight cage, and he's even scarier. <laughs> so I feel like they're going to match up pretty uh, pretty well on this one. And the last one for uh, Pro Wrestling After Dark is the Pro Wrestling After Dark heavyweight title match as John Wayne Murdoch takes on Masha Slamovich in another intergender match. So Pro Wrestling After Dark is very intergender heavy on this show. Great. Yeah, that's going to be a one hell of a match. I mean, I've seen John Wade Murdoch. He's done a lot of damage at those prior uh, pro wrestling dark matches. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to see what you guys what happens in that match for sure. Oh, yeah. So, guys, let me ask you this: Now that there's so many amazing cards, uh, matches that we went down here, uh, how can uh, fans, you know, get get to see this if they, you know, if they want to? 
www.foundationofwrestling.eventbrite.com. Uh-huh. Eventbrite.com, SWS Presents. Shockwave, mm-hmm. or Pro Wrestling After Dark, dark dot eventbrite.com. It's possible that the uh, my two shows will be filmed for IWTV. I'm not 100% sure yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rob, is that's going to be up on uh, Facebook stream, right? We'll have the view stub running off of face, uh, Facebook on that, yeah. So you can watch it on Facebook Live and on view stub, the SWF show for certain. I'm not 100% sure which direction we're going to go on, on the other two shows yet. But we'll yeah. uh, make that announcement too. Yeah, when you do, let us know because we'll be more than happy to share the information out as it comes along. Uh, I'm Absolutely. even surprised you guys added Gabby Ortiz to a match. I mean, I didn't even know this was going to happen. <laughs> I, I didn't either, which is awesome. I love hey, it. We always give Wrestling IQ 101 the, excuse, uh, the exclusives, you know? Well, we do appreciate that. We really do appreciate you looking out for us here. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> like Santa Claus all year round. I'm around giving presents. Yeah, it's true, right? I mean, <laughs> making things making things right. Chad is like a a, a big tree of love. Well, <laughs> yeah, I would have to concur with that for sure. He really he <laughs> he really is a, a, a stand up a standalone guy. <laughs> Thank you. We're having more fun than ever now. It's great. Yeah, is is that true? Uh, uh, Chad, are you guys, is it back to being fun now? Yeah, you know, uh, I say this all the time. You know, I had the most fun with anybody that I've worked with with Rob, man, without without a doubt. And I, when I started standalone, it really wasn't that much fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, working with Titan was very depressing, like, like super depressing. And, uh, you know, coming back to Rob, you know, a lot of jokes, a lot of fun, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's what the business is supposed to be. You know, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be sad and depressing and, you know, miserable. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's good to hear that you guys are in good spa- uh, spaces, uh, places right now in your life. I mean, uh, Rob, I mean, we talked last time. You cleaned up your act. You, you're yeah. a brand new man, a reborn man. <laughs> so it's it kind was, of cool. It's definitely uh, a different way of life, and I wish it was done sooner. But, mm-hmm. you know, with that timing is everything. And, you know, a wise man must once told me over a dock of pepper everything happens for a reason so oh yeah and that's the truth man so I'm just I'm really blessed and great for the and, and, to and be, be uh, you know and, and doing it this way to be honest it's, it's, I'm having more fun and it wasn't fun the last two years of it and I hated it and now it's, it's more of a it's just a lot more fun I, I'm really just aware of everything and grateful for everything that's going on and, and the talent and the people so it's just really cool yeah, it's awesome to hear. I do, I do yell a lot at the team at times, but <laughs> not as bad. Oh, that's good. That's good, that's good that you're... Because you, you don't want you to get a high blood pressure or something. So we want, yeah, you to, yeah. we want you to be around for a long time promoting these SWF and uh, <laughs> these these trifecta shows. So. They were rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, oh, talk about rock and roll. The Rock and Roll Express was there uh, at, at Megaslam. Oh, <laughs> How awesome was that? I was very... You know, they're great guys. First thing I could say, and uh, you know, to, to break the fourth wall here, they they um completely businessman, you know, didn't care about the the win or the loss, just cared about uh, entertaining the people and their sixties to go out and do that. It's it's never amazing. Really be seen. It's amazing. It's, it to never really be seen in, in that area of New Jersey. It worked, and, that, and it, that's they're really just a great team. And and the truth is, that was not something that I had planned to do. I know. Uh, you know, the Titan Company, uh, the miserable company, as I call them, they, uh, were, they, they had the book, and then they fired Eric Sims, and then banned Eric Sims, and Eric owed them a date, and, and the rock and roll was secured. And we said, okay, let's hold on to the pandemic going on. Let's just bring him in a mega slam, and that was it. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, and that's... That's really what happened. Yeah, and Savio Vega was there, and, and you guys throughout the years have brought in so many... So many legends, like so, like you too, Chad. I mean, look at Killer Cross. I mean, uh, the list goes on and on with all the people you guys have brought. Sonny Kiss. Um... That was the last promoter <laughs> as part of SWF to bring in Vader at his last appearance, God rest his soul, in New Jersey. Yeah, and the great Kali. I mean, we can go down forever. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah, you know, we, uh, we've had a ton of stars who have come through. And, uh, you know, from TV names to past, past legends, you know, you want to give fans, uh, you know, past nostalgic things and then you want to give them 
you know, stuff that they see, like, oh, my God, we met these guys, and now now here they are on our TV and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so again, you want to find that right balance with wrestling. Sure, you sure do, and I think you guys have struck gold here with Shockwave. I mean, that's three shows for the price of one. I mean, how can you get any better than that, right? Yeah, again, yeah, that's, that, that's the value. Buy the three-show pass, mm-hmm. stay all day. We're going to have a great time. Uh, myself and Rob are very accessible uh, throughout the shows, uh, very fan-friendly and you know, open with our fans. So uh, we, we want everybody just to be with there with us all day like it's party. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. Is I'll be, I'll be, you know, running around producing and have production, having a good time, and we're working hard on the shows with Chad, but we're really accessible. We're not like you know hidden. Yeah, uh, one last question, and then we'll we'll get to the plugs, guys. Uh, is there going to be any bikini contest this time? <laughs> <laughs> you know why? <laughs> you know why? Let me tell you something. What? Absolutely amazing. Uh, guys, let's go down one more time. Where can people get the SWF or Pro Wrestling After Dark or Standalone Wrestling on social media or even you guys? Oh, man. So, go ahead. You can go first. Well, I am on Rob Fury on Facebook, official uh, Fury13 on Instagram. I just opened up my Twitter again because I know that Grim thing started again. That's going to go nuts. But we oh did that. And then, uh, but as far as the uh, SWF Facebook, it's SWF Live. And uh, again, the website, all tickets for everything is available. Like the, uh, all of these shows, the LCW show next week that we're collaborating with, the, um, the trifecta shows, uh, the Board War Buds, the standalone wrestling shows, the cannabis tournament, everything is accessible to buy tickets on the website at www. Dot oh yeah, we didn't even get to talk about Boardwalk Buzz, but I mean, I uh, love <laughs> it's gonna be amazing, absolutely, right, guys? Yeah, 